To date, developers have barely scratched the surface of narrative experiences within VR. Early experimentations with head tracking film have begun, but they've yet to manifest in anything resembling a narrative. Project Cyclops is a short Unity demo that begins to explore the kinds of cinematic devices that films will employ in order to make a great narrative-driven experience for VR. It is not interactive, simply allowing you to look around as it takes you on its ride. We open with a series of impressive sweeping establishing shots, a fleet of capital spaceships followed by a long tracking shot of the interior of one of the vessels. Both shots work really well, the former being quite awe-inspiring and the latter full of points of interest, for example the ship's crew going about their business, repairing and refuelling fighters in their hangars. For both of these shots we are a disembodied camera. This works fine, but some of the sharp and sudden turns are a little unpleasant. Hey, you awake back there? Yeah. Sorry, just dozed off for a second. What's going on? The bulk of the experience places you in the perspective of one of the characters, an intrepid war correspondent sitting in the co-pilot position of a fighter craft. It is here that you begin to notice that the scale is a bit off, your character's body seems very small. One commenter said that you feel like a puppet from Thunderbirds and this is probably a fair comparison. It doesn't ruin the experience but it doesn't aid immersion. To document this war in its entirety. Don't be stupid. Get out of here. The voice acting is not bad at all. We don't ever see a character's face as they talk, which is obviously a concession to the dangers of entering the uncanny valley, and it's completely understandable. The bigger issue is when our character starts interacting with the ship's controls, we don't see their arms move. Combined with not being able to see who's speaking, this makes the action of this scene a little confusing. Bayer 102, you are not authorized to launch without a co-pilot. Disengage pre-flight and shut down. No can do, Tower. I've got a loose cannon sitting up my arse. After a brief dialogue with the pilot, the fleet is attacked and we are launched into the midst of an incredible space battle. This portion of the experience is reminiscent of a VR roller coaster demo. It's a thrilling ride, but if you don't enjoy coasters, then you may want to steer clear of Project Cyclops. There is a lot of action to take in, arguably too much. It would be nice to be able to follow one of the specific enemy ships as your pilot takes them out, but there is really too much going on to make Computer, sense of. Activate Sea Whiz. Engage auto target. Now, don't touch anything. You want to live, right? Let me fly. The transitions in between shots should really fade to black. They currently freeze the screen, hey, causing nausea. Up. Once the narrative begins, the device of our main character passing out is used to justify cuts without altering our perspective. It would be nice if the demo experimented more with switching point of view around. I doubt that cutting as much as a traditional film would be pleasant, but it would be interesting to see how it feels to occasionally switch between characters and types of shot, mid-scene and between scenes. Project Cyclops is in its early stages, and by the developer's own admission is a little rough around the edges. It is an encouraging start though, and already makes for an engaging ride type demo to give some of the best roller coasters a run for their money. I'd like to see further cinematic experimentation, and more use of character models to help drive the narrative. While the film industry continues to experiment with what can be done with live action 360 degree filmmaking, Project Cyclops begins to build the case for abandoning our cameras altogether in favour of motion capture and 3D renderings to tell our stories in VR. Warning. 